Today, I'm going to talk about vocal microphones. Five of them. Eight of them or ten of them, something like that. You might notice off the rip, this video is different. Usually you see me working with Arduino, some coding or something like that in my lab. In there, that's where I do my web development programs, hardware type of stuff, embedded IoT things. In here, this is my audio studio. I work on games in here because I have a more powerful computer in here and I work on audio, video, that sort of things with, with that computer. Now, if you know me from programming, game development, Arduino, Raspberry Pi, and those technologies, you may not know that I have been working with audio for two decades, 20 years, maybe even more since the 1990s. I've been doing this. When I first got a computer, that's one of the first things that I did besides maybe working with graphics and websites. Well, I've been doing it all since the 90s. Now, I want to talk about microphones because it's very important. And you see this microphone I have here is different. Usually I have it out of the shot because I'm focusing on video and I might as well show my mic now that I'm talking about audio and microphones. This is not going to be very in depth. It's just to give you an idea of the microphones that I've worked with, what I like about them and things that I consider when I'm trying to figure out which microphones to use for whatever I'm doing. And not to get too technical, but one of the first things that I look at when I'm purchasing the microphone is frequency response. That is basically the range or so that the mic can capture. Then you have response curves. That's more of like the character of the mic. So your little waveform that it tends to like. And that's why you have to pick the right mic for the right purposes. And what I do is depending on the type of voice is which type of mic that I use. Here, what I'm gonna show is basically two different types of mic. Most of them are condenser mics. And then I have this dynamic mic. So with these mics, you, what you have to understand is there is this thing that we call proximity effect, proximity effect. And with this microphone, because it's so great, <laughs> we'll talk about it later. And it's dynamic. You don't really have to worry about it that much. But with the condensers, what happens is when you get closer, you get more bass sounds. And when you get farther away, the sounds produced are different. And you can do some things with proximity effect to help or hurt your vocals. Now, let's just get into the mics because that's what everyone wants to know about anyway. This first mic, I had it maybe 10 years or even more. It's the AKG Perception 200. They stopped making them a while ago, and now they have a P120 and a P420 that are comparable. I bought it for about $200. Nowadays, they go for mm, under $100. But I really like this mic. I used it for a long time. I don't use it as much anymore. You can see it's not in that great shape uh, because, you know, dust and dirt. But it still sounds really good. But with deeper voices, I don't like the way it sounds. Like the proximity effect is kind of bad for me, maybe because it was only $200 and at the time it wasn't that great. But I like to use this for like singers who may have mid range voices or really high voices. And, you know, this mic still sounds good because these things, you know, it's about how you use the tools more so than the actual tools that you're using. But it sounds really good for me when I'm recording. It came in a nice little package this box like a military type box and it's pretty good i like it because you can drop this and it'll be okay the next mic i had maybe five to eight years and it's also discontinued but it's when it sounds really good it is the blue spark blue spark the orange they don't make these anymore but i really liked it this is what it looks like i had a problem where this screw messed up and looks something like this when it when the thread isn't messed up this mic sounds really good we like the deeper voices and the mid voices um it just seems so crisp really really crisp what i didn't like about it is you know i get sound from both sides so you know you have to consider that when you're recording you're going to get a lot of ambient noise and noises from the other side so you have to take that into account when you are recording with this thing sounds really crisp really good i love it still use it to this day if i can <laughs> but i like this mic with this spark it is really impressive 
the packaging. If you want a keepsake, if you want to show off, you want to display, this is the mic to have. It comes in this nice wooden box. And when you open it up, nice display, looks good. I love it. Now those first two mics I use for singers, rappers, not much so podcasting or just speech, but you can use them for that if you use it properly. But that's what I use it for, recording singers and rappers. This next mic you may have heard in some other videos that I've created. It is this one. It is the Samsung CO2. It's nice, small, like a little pencil, shotgun. Um, it is okay if it's not a lot of noise in the room because, or a lot of echo, because it picks up those reflections. And I would say the low ends on it aren't very good. So you're gonna get some good mids and highs, but that's about it. But I still use this. I try not to get it too close because the lows are gonna sound bad, but too far away and it's a lot of noise and stuff. It's, you know, it's, I think it's really sensitive too. So that may be a good thing, but you know, I'm looking for something for a video that's a little better, but I bought it because it was cheaper, you know, for $99 at that price. Why not get two? This next mic, I bought it because it was cheap. I do a lot on a budget. I wanted to record a podcast. I was looking for some mics and I came across MXL V67G. Did I get that right? <laughs> V67G. At the time that I bought them, they were around $79. And it sounds really good. And I used it for podcasting. It comes in this box. It's, you know, standard cheap microphone stuff. You know, a little carrying case. Now, these are also crisp. Not as crisp as the Spark, but it's really, really crisp. So the low end sound good and the high end sound good enough so if you're going to do podcasting that's a good mic to start with if you're looking for a condenser mic that's really cheap and right now i think they're about 65 dollars, so that's not bad it looks good too that green and gold is nice looking so what did i do i got two so this last mic is a beast for years and years and years it's been 399 <laughs> 400 dollars I was looking to get one. And of course, I'm talking about this one. I was looking to get one. I ended up finding one once. It was like 329. So I had to get it. It is the Shure SM7B. This is what it looks like. They call it the legendary vocal mic. And I know why. If you go into radio stations across the country, across the world, you're going to see this mic. You're listening to the radio. You're probably hearing this mic. This mic sounds really good for vocals and what we use them for is voiceovers, podcasts, everything. Anytime you want to talk. Some of my videos I use this and you can tell this because I come in with that nice booming voice. I come in sounding really good, way better than any other microphone setup. So for voiceovers, you might want to use it. It's going to have some, it's going to be really deep. So you might want to be careful with that and you probably hear some of my plosives now because I'm very close to it, but that's how I like to record with it. But it's gonna sound really good. The absolute best microphone for vocals, not for singing. Do not try to sing in these things. Don't try to rap in these things. They're gonna, it's gonna sound okay, but you know, you might want something with a better response curve, but this is a really good mic for vocals to talk, do voiceovers, speak, all that, do your voices for your games, your voices for your commercials, your videos. It is a really good mic. I sound like an evangelist, but what did I do? I got two. Good mic. You can easily remove the screen, put it back on. Those are some of the things that I consider and think about when I'm going to be recording something. Is it a male? Is it a female? Is it really deep? Is it for some singing? Is it for voiceover? Do I want it booming? Do I want to sound like Dr. Love? 
in the midnight hour. And maybe that's not the way to say it. Maybe it's more like this. Make sure you use the right tool for the job. And for vocals, these are the mics that I use. And I've been using them throughout the years. And I will have links for these if you want to read more about them. And look at more into the specs on the microphones. If you can get into those things. And make sure you subscribe. All that good stuff. Comment, like, tell me what microphones you use now. Because I haven't been microphone shopping in a while. And maybe I may need to go into the market. Find some other microphones for vocals. That are not for voiceovers, podcasting and things like that. Hit subscribe, hit like, share. Talk to you later.